Hi, this is Amy Cook from Carnegie Mellon University talking about the role of playtesting. So first, what does playtesting mean? Playtesting is a process that game designers use to test a game in progress by letting other people play their game and getting their honest feedback. Let's break that down. First, this is something that real game designers in industry do. It's that important. Second, this is something we do with a game in progress not with a finished game. Third, we want to make sure that we're letting people who are not on the design team play our game. We want people who've never seen this game before. And last, the goal of doing a playtest is to get constructive criticism and honest feedback from our playtesters. Playtesting is the best way to learn what players experience. If you want to know what people think about your game, you have to watch them play it and you have to ask them what they felt and what they thought and experienced. This is how we learn what's working and what isn't working in our game. We want to make sure we're playtesting early in the design process and playtesting play often. The more often we get feedback, the less likely we are to waste time going down an unproductive design path and the more likely we are to find the best part of our idea. So we want to make sure we're getting there early. So when you think about how to run a playtest, in order to answer that question, you first need to know what you're trying to learn from the playtest. We always want to know what we're trying to learn. Maybe we want to figure out how long this game takes to play from beginning to end. Maybe we want to know if there are unintended consequences of the rules. We can learn if people are bored or when they get really excited and invested about the game. Maybe we have three different options for rules and we want to try each one and see how they're different. Just as a warning though, if you go into a playtest trying to show people how awesome your game is, you are not going to learn anything. We want to make sure we're prepared to change our game based on these playtests. So what should the design team do during the playtest? First, set up that you want to get feedback at the end. Make sure playtesters know why they're there. And then second, you can explain the rules, but make sure you explain them as the people start playing and not all at once so that they forget. But once the game gets going, the designers need to not talk. Don't answer questions. Don't argue with the playtesters. If they play the rule in a way that you didn't mean for them to play, let them. If they're playing the game, if they're doing something that you think is wrong, just let them. Because your job is to see what happens when they play their game. Just listen and just learn. But of course you can take notes. You should take notes. You need to have at least one person on your team whose only job it is would be to observe the playtest and write down what they see. And then after the playtest is over, you can ask questions. Um, in particular, you should ask four kinds of questions. First, you want to know what the players experienced. Get them to tell you what they felt and what they experienced, what they felt was exciting or confusing. Make sure you really understand how they um, experience this game. Then you want to go to your observers. You want to see what did they notice, what did they see. Maybe they saw something that the players didn't tell you. Then you want to move into theories about what caused those experiences or what caused the thing that we observed. Maybe there was a particular thing that happened in the game that made people laugh every time. Maybe there was a particular thing in our game that caused these experiences. What do we think that might be? And then only at the end do we want to talk about advice for things we could change. This is the hardest thing, is to get people to wait until the end to offer advice about changes. But we want to make sure that we get the experiences and the observations and the theories first. Again, don't tell them your game is awesome, don't get defensive about your design choices, and don't answer their questions. Your goal is to learn something about your game from the people who played it so that you can change your game for the better. And yes, your game will change, and this is a good thing. You want to make changes and make them often. We can use playtesting as a low-stakes way to iterate a bunch of ideas really quickly and then use data and evidence from our players to guide our design choices. But of course, you might encounter some problems. Some playtesters might be unwilling to give critical feedback to their friends. We want to make sure that everyone understands that criticism is a good thing 
that telling us what's wrong will help us make our game right next time. Some designers might be defensive about their choices. They might not want to hear criticism. But again, we want to make sure everyone knows that we're here to help, we're here to make the game better, and that that is our goal. And finally, you might find some designers are unwilling to share a work in progress. They only want to share their game once it's finished, once it's perfect. Well, first of all, there's no such thing as a finished game or a perfect game. Um, but second, we want to make sure we're getting feedback early so that we don't get stuck with a, a game at the end of the semester that is no good because we didn't get feedback early enough. So again, the purpose of a playtest is to get people to give us their criticism, give us their feedback, and help us change our game early and often so that we can have the best possible game. Thank you.